level. <laughs> Whew, okay, I'm putting these things down. Hey guys, Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic. I got a really cool muscle building dumbbell only workout for you today. And I've designed it to be done in a circuit style. I got five different exercises. Each one is designed to hit a different muscle group. So basically, at the end of this circuit, every single muscle in our body is gonna get hit. And man, am I gonna be tired trying to demo this for you guys. But I'm gonna do three circuits for you so you can follow along, so you'll see how I'm doing it, how tired I get, and how effective it is. All right, if you didn't know, building muscle after 40 gets really hard. Matter of fact, after 50, it gets even harder, guys. So, man, we're always trying to find things we can do to trick our body into basically increasing the size of all these muscle fibers. I mean, we got trillions of muscle fibers. So the only way to make them bigger is to tear them down and damage them first. All right, so that's where, you know, that soreness comes from, guys. You know, if you're sore for two or three days, it's because you did it right, okay? Because you actually hurt your muscles. Um, they're injured, hence the pain. But guess what? Your body's really, really smart. It's clever. So it knows when it starts to rebuild and repair all those damaged muscle fibers, it repairs them and it slightly overdoes it. It makes them just a tiny bit bigger and just a tiny bit stronger than they were before you broke them down and damaged them. And of course, that's what we're doing. You know, you repeat that day after day, week after week, month after month, guess what? Those muscles slowly get bigger because every time we tear them down, they slightly overcompensate. So this is a really cool workout, guys, for you all that don't have a lot of time, okay? This is a really quickie. Anytime I do a circuit style workout program, it's, it's really compact. It's, it's just energy exercise dense. We get a lot of stuff done in a real short amount of time, but guess what? That's going to make your heart weight go really, really high. So guys, I'm going to go through the five exercises and I want you to pick some dumbbells that are pretty light. Matter of fact, you have to find a dumbbell weight for you that you can do on the most difficult exercise. So some of these exercises are going to be targeting our legs, Legs are strong, you can use real heavy dumbbells. Some of them are gonna be doing our biceps. Well, guess what? Our biceps are really small and really weak compared to our back and our legs. So pick a dumbbell that can be done with your weakest body part or weakest exercise. So let me just go through the five exercises. You guys can experiment real, real quick and then find a weight that's right for you. But remember, we're doing these exercises back to back with no rest. And at the end of the five exercises, that's one circuit, then we can rest. So that's another reason why you gotta pick a really pretty lightweight dumbbell. So the first thing we're gonna do is lunges, holding a pair of dumbbells. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do bent over alternating rows, 10 on each side. Same thing with the lunges, 10 on each side. All right, everything's gonna be 10, all right? Then we're gonna get on our backs and we're gonna do alternating chest presses, okay? So 10 on each side, right? Now your chest is pretty strong, so normally you could lift a lot of weight, but remember, after that, we gotta stand up and we gotta do alternating hammer curls, all right? You can't use a lot of weight and, and still do good form when you're doing hammer curls. And then the fifth and final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to stand here, all right? And we're gonna do overhead alternating dumbbell presses or a military press, all right? Once again, because we're doing alternating, we're gonna be holding these dumbbells up for a long time, which is really gonna fatigue your shoulders, which means you can't do a lot of weight. So guys, experiment real quick. You don't have to do the entire circuit, just do a few reps with all these different exercises and find out a weight that's good for you. All right, so before I get into this circuit and you guys follow along, I just want you to, to know we got a phenomenal free resource for you. It's called our Facebook group, all right? Click the link below, it'll take you there and just ask to join, all right? It's, it's, it's phenomenal. We got over 10,000 members around the world and it's guys just like you, okay? So it's not a bunch of, you know, really fit guys. It's a bunch of guys that are trying to get fit, that are trying to turn their life around. And I'm in there every day. So I'm the moderator, I'm answering the questions, I'm posting new content, I'm trying to help pat people on the back sometimes, kick them in the butt when they need to. But anyway, you need to check it out, it's fantastic. All right, so the first exercise are alternating lunges, okay? 
So guys, I'm not gonna be able to talk a whole lot, okay, during this deal because when you're talking, you're actually not breathing. You're only exhaling. <laughs> try it sometime. So just follow along, try to mimic my form, okay? And then of course, at the end of each circuit, I'll be able to stop and catch my breath and hopefully talk to you for a few seconds before I gotta do a circuit all over again. All right, here we go, lunges. So we gotta do 10 on each side. That's one and one. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. All right, with no rest, okay, I'm gonna do bent over rows, okay, and they're alternating, so we're gonna go one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, 10, 10, all right, down the ground. Woo. Alternating chest press, 10 per side. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, five, Ten. Ten. All right. Here we go. Back up. Alternating hammer curls. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Nine, 10, and 10. Woo, last one. Shoulder press. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, 10. Ten. Ooh, oh, that burns, guys. All right. That, my friends, is one circuit. All right, so the key, guys, is trying to go from one exercise to the next with no rest. Now, when you're transitioning, you know, especially when you're getting down to the ground or standing back up, you bet. It's gonna take four, five, sometimes 10 seconds. I don't have a problem with that. So try to do it as quick as possible. And then, now, at the end of a circuit, stop, catch your breath, okay? Because I want you guys to be fully recovered before we start the next circuit. Now, I don't mean fully recovered as in your heart rate's dropped way back down and you're getting kind of tight, all right? So I just want you to get your breath back, all right? And then I want your heart to have time to pump all that lactic acid out of our muscles, okay? So that's what's going on. You know, when things start to burn, your muscles start to burn, that's lactic acid buildup. Now, the thing is, guys, your body can take that lactic acid when it has time, like right now, it pumps it out of the muscles into your liver, and your liver converts it back into a usable form as far as in, in the form of glucose, 
which then goes back <laughs> to your muscles and it uses that as a source of energy. So guys, you can, you can alter this workout real simply, adjust it according to your fitness level. So you may need 10 or 15 seconds rest in between each exercise, even though I say don't do any, all right? If you're beginning, that's fine, okay? I just want you to do all five exercises with as little rest as possible in between them because <clears throat> that'll create that circuit style effect. Now, the other thing it does, even though this is not really a cardio workout, this is really focusing on just hitting those muscles. And I mean every muscle in our body, if you didn't notice, we hit with those five exercises. So it still gives you kind of a, a semi-hit workout, high intensity interval training, okay? And there's all kinds of really neat benefits to HIT training. You need to check out some of my other videos. Just, just go to the little magnifying glass, you know, the search engine in our, on our YouTube channel and just type in HIT, high, H-I-I-T, and you'll get tons of videos that Gary and I have shot that are considered HIT workouts. All right, so I need to do this again. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna instruct my cameraman to move around and give you some different angles, okay? So you don't wanna, I don't want you guys to see everything I do from one angle. So here we go. We're gonna start off with lunges again, okay? Gotta do 10 aside. One, two, two, three, three, four. close. That's nine. Nine. Ten. And ten. All right. Let's do some bent over rows now. Now remember, I'm not looking down. I'm sticking my butt out and trying to look forward. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Here we go. I'm doing some chest now. Now, guys at the bottom, when I'm holding the dumbbell, don't let your elbows hit the ground. Keep them slightly off the ground. should be 10. Oh, now I get to get up and do some hammer curls. Ten. Ten. Ooh. These shoulders are going to be tough, guys. All right, here we go. One, two. So guys, I'm out of breath, but even more so than that, I'm feeling that burn in my muscles. So 
I don't know if it shows up on the camera so well, but I can feel a pump, you know, in my arms and my shoulders and my back and to a lesser extent my legs, all right, and my chest, of course. But guys, whew. Remember, these five exercises, we're hitting the major muscle group. So I'll just look at the board here. So the first thing we do is we hit our legs with the lunges. Then we do the bent over rows. And guys, there's 17 muscle groups in your back. And those bent over rows get a lot of those muscles. And so those are big, that's a big muscle group. All right, then we lay down on our back. And of course, I'm doing the alternating chest press. Of course, that's your chest, but it's, you're also getting the front part of your shoulders and your triceps are involved. Anytime you're pushing, you're getting your triceps. Then we gotta stand up, alternating hammer curls. All right, that's primarily just biceps, okay? And then the, fa the last thing we do is the is overhead alternating shoulder press. That really gets your shoulders, guys. Plus, it gets your core, because when you're standing like this pressing, you have to flex your core. You can't help but do it. So, if you didn't notice, I just covered every muscle group in the body right there, right? <laughs> All right, so we're two circuits down. Catch your breath here. Remember, it's not just about getting your breathing back, all right, and getting your lung capacity back so you can hit hard. It's about allowing your heart to pump the blood through all those muscles so it can help to flush out some of that lactic acid because if you don't rest long enough, let's say you catch your breath really quick. Maybe you're in great cardio shape. But, and you rest, you know, 15, 20 seconds, you're ready to go again because you're not breathing hard. Well, guess what? Your muscles aren't ready to go again. All right, so that's the deal, guys. This is, this is a workout designed to build muscle. Remember, that's what we were talking about. This is not designed to burn fat so much, although it, it will help. Guys, it's really about building muscle. And, you know, once we get older, it's tough. All right, so the other thing is, guys, you don't have to stop at three circuits. If you got enough time, all right, and you want to push yourself harder, hey, get after it. Do four or five circuits, okay? That's wonderful. All right, but a lot of you guys out there are going to be fairly new at most intermediate level. And doing three circuits is going to be pretty tough for a lot of you guys. But that's okay. That's fine. You know, you got to start someplace. So I want you to do at least three circuits, though. All right. Even if you're out of shape, even if you're a beginner, you can stop and rest between every single exercise. Okay. Just get it done. Find a way to do all five exercises for three circuits, even if you have to rest longer than I recommend. All right. Whew. My shoulders have got the most burn. And that's, that's the other thing, guys. I'm only using 20 pounds here. Okay. And I'm a pretty big guy. So you all are not going to need to use much weight at home. I mean, you know, 10 pounds, maybe 15. You know, just kind of depending, because I, I guarantee you, things will really start to burn. All right, this is my third and final circuit for you guys to watch. And for you highly motivated guys, you can do four or five if you want. Here we go, lunges, 10 per side. Two, two, three, three, four. Let's do some bent over rows, guys. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, 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 and ten. All right, here we go. Chest press. Kind of feels nice getting down to the ground here. One, one, three, three, four, six, six, nine, 
Nein. Nein. Okay. Hammer curls. I always think of MC Hammer. I need those big baggy pants. close. Last one. Ten. Ten. Now the dreaded shoulders. One. Okay, I'm putting these things down. <sighs> well, the good news is I can talk. <laughs> Usually when I'm doing these circuits out workouts for you guys, I'm so gassed, so out of breath that I can't talk to the camera. <sighs> and y'all don't know this because you could be viewing this at any month or year, but I had a real bad case of COVID just three months ago. And I mean, it killed my cardio. I really hadn't been able to do any cardio since. <laughs> still affects my voice but guys this is a really effective workout to building muscle after 40 after 50 after 60 we got guys in our facebook group in their 70s and 80s I saw a wonderful post from a man in his 80s he looked fantastic okay so guys that's the other thing take advantage of this free resource we give you we have the best facebook fitness group in the entire world click the link below and join and i promise guys if you stick with this kind of stuff and never give up on yourself you're going to build some serious muscle